You cannot escape knowledge. Science is knowledge. It's an interesting time to be talking about my father. He was told his name is Abdul Salam. And Abdul Salam means man of peace. He was very open minded and willing to consider all sorts of ideas. Much more important to him to have uh, new ideas uh, than, you know, to be sure that they were right from the beginning. Salam was an extremely um, vibrant. Uh, lively individual and uh, enormously inventive. Physicists that um, are more mathematically minded. There are others who are very phenomenologically minded. Salam was certainly um, a combination of the two. But very often when he was working, he was determined to get the right answer. He'd say, well, yes, but never mind. i say, but how do you know, you see? And he would lean back like this and curl his moustache, he goes, he was definitely one of the one of the first few who saw the relevance of of symmetry in particle physics. All physicists are interested in symmetry, but Salam was particularly so, and this may be just because of his cultural background. Nobel Prize, 1979. I was quite young. It was important to him that he wear the nachkan and the turban. He was, after all, the first Muslim to win the Nobel Prize. We are not doing science just because we want to earn Nobel Prizes. We're doing it because we want to understand the secrets of, of, of nature. It's very hard to be in Salam's office and to play Salam's uh, uh, role. And uh, I really tried uh, to follow his ideas. I really share his belief that the knowledge is the common heritage of the mankind. 